Hey YouTube and Happy New Year! Woo! Okay, so this is going to be a two-part series on New Year's Eve makeup, okay? So I know it's kind of late and everything, but for those of y'all that are kind of like scattering about, about, you know, what should I wear tonight, what should I do, check this video out. Um, the first one's going to be foundation face and the second is going to be the eyes. So watch both for your completed look and I apologize it's a two part video but you know I don't have editing software so I'm doing like linear editing on my iPod okay. So anyways let's get started okay. So my face is already washed and it has lotion um, so it's good to go. and. It also has primer. I use Max Prep and Prime, and I just put it on before my foundation, let it sit for a few seconds, and now I'm going to go ahead and move into my foundation. Now, what I'm using first to start off is, I know it's kind of redundant and a little bit ridiculous, but I'm taking my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, and I'm just mixing a little bit with my Nivea Cream, a really nice, soft, supple cream, and... This is just if you have um, really dry skin like I have this winter, then I've been mixing it with a moisturizer and it's been helping. So I'm just using the back of the Nivea pan to mix my foundation with the moisturizing cream. And I'm going to go ahead and blend with my fingers around my cheek and nose area to even out my skin tone before I uh, try to cover up any blemishes or red spots. I'm just you know, making my skin look even around my problem area, which is my cheeks and nose. So now I'm going to go again, grab a little more, and this time I'm going to concentrate on any blemishes such as these guys. And on my other side. And you can see how the moisturizer helps to make the skin look dewy. So, and when I mix the foundation with the moisturizer, I use less than a pump size amount. Um, just a tiny drop of foundation because now what I do is I actually go back with the other half of the pump. Just a little bit more of just plain foundation. And I go over the problem areas one more time and I also go right under my eyes and on each eyelid. It's kind of like the start of a base for our eyeshadows. It's like that. And then this way you have a sheer coverage, um, except for on the areas where you need the most coverage. So this helps our face from looking too cakey or falling down by the end of the night. Okay, so now that my foundation's on and it's drying, I'm going to let it sit a little bit. The next thing that you want to do is apply a sheer powder or a powder of your skin tone to help the foundation stay in place. Now a lot of people argue that this step makes your face look even more cakey or powdery which you know they're they're correct however it is all in the application. If you over apply your powder then yes you're gonna look like a big cakey mess. But what I like to do is I like to just put extra product on the brush okay then tap it off okay nice taps and then just softly run it over my whole entire face. Really softly, no pressure whatsoever. Oh, you almost want to just pat it onto your skin. Okay? And that's it. And the camera probably doesn't show it well, but my face looks a little more matte, a little more even. Okay? See? Okay. I'm gonna put you back. All right. Alrighty. So now that our foundation and our um, translucent powder is all set, I'm gonna go in with my latest favorite product of life. Of you know, since I found it, it's been my favorite product. It's L'Oreal's Glam Bronze in Seductive Sunset, number nine forty two, and it's just just really really pretty almost like khaki, goldy, khaki kind of color. And what I do is instead of applying my contour and then my and then using this as a blush or using this as a bronzer, I kind of do it at both. So what I do is I just load up my brush 
and I concentrated on the temples and right on the outskirts of the apples of my cheek. So I'm not going into the hollows, but I'm just going to go into this area and into my temples. Okay? And you just need a little bit. Okay, so now we'll do this side. Okay, so now that we have our C here, I'm just gonna go really quickly. I'm gonna dust a little bit on my tum on my forehead, a little bit on the bridge of my nose, and on my chin, just so that our face looks kind of uniform. And then what I do with the leftover product that's on the brush, I just simply smile, and I kind of blend whatever's left over on the actual apples of my cheek. So now we have a sheer flush of color in all the right places. And when you smile, you can see the warmth in your cheeks without having, you know, like a dab of red here or like all this brown contouring mess. Um, it's just really natural. It's an awesome look, especially if you're going for dark eyeshadows, which I'm going to be doing in my next video. Okay, so that is it for the face. It's as easy as that. Again, um, because I'm using this blush slash bronzer that's kind of like orangey pinky with gold, it's, um, it helps because it helps to contour your face and still highlight it without you having to do the extra steps. So stay tuned for the next part. Eyes are coming up next. Bye.